A new intent, makeshift homes like this may soon be illegal in North Cortland if they're not up to code. Two men died in that structure. Authorities think it was carbon monoxide poisoning. The chief of police told us no one should have been living there in the first place. Way 31, Sarah Singletary talked to emergency responders in North Cortland and learned what they're trying to do to make the shed-like homes safer. What these storage buildings are basically is a shale. Buildings like this one on Johnson Lane, where Wyman Hampton and John Mays died from what police think was carbon monoxide poisoning. Police told us there was a generator running inside the home when they found the men. Small wonder, one door, and one way out. So that's how safe they are. Now, North Cortland Police Chief Spencer Butler is trying to make the shed like homes illegal. We just want to make it feasible to where nobody um, is overcome by some kind of toxic fumes. He told me the makeshift homes started popping up about a year ago. As it stands now, it's no way, it, it's, it's no way we can make it illegal for them to have them. Butler and the Lawrence County probate judge met last week and are trying to figure out a solution. They got to have running water. They got to be able to have electrical outlets and they got to be able to be feasible to where in case something happens, they'll be able to uh, exit out of them also. Sterling Creighton told me he's familiar with these buildings and agrees with Butler. They wouldn't have fire, they wouldn't have a one way out, and the fire might be why they need to get out of it. Making the buildings a hazard for those inside and a hassle for emergency responders, especially since these makeshift homes don't even have registered city addresses. We know who live there per se word of mouth, but as far as a physical lo location, if something wants to happen, we don't know. Chief Butler told me he and the county probate judge are still doing their research and preparing to present their findings here at the North Cortland City Council Chambers in hopes of seeing an ordinance passed that would outlaw these improper homes. In North Cortland, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News. Now, right now, authorities are waiting on autopsy reports to confirm the two men officially died of carbon monoxide poisoning.